What's up guys, Andrews here with another No Man's Sky video. This time we're going to be taking a look at ships, how to acquire them, and whether or not it's worth spending millions for that amazing ship you've seen belonging to some NPC. Now let's start with the basics. Now you start out with a crash ship that the game shows you how to repair. This process will actually be repeated every single time you find a crash ship on a world. And the way you find these crash ships is by going to a transmission tower and solving the puzzle to get a chance to get the location for a crash ship now the game calls these distress signals keep in mind though you won't always get the distress call from these transmission towers but they can happen the other way is to simply use your current ship and explore the surface of the world till you see two distinct smoke signals followed by the render of a ship as you get closer this is a little tricky at first since crash escape pods usually accompany crash ships but uh, can also actually be found scattered more commonly around the rest of the surface by themselves You'll get the hang of spotting crash ships the more you play and search for them. Crash ships you find will either have one less slot, one more slot, or the same amount of slots as your current ship. This is really important to remember. Let me give you an example. If you have, say, a 20 slot ship, you can only find a crash ship that will have 19, 20, or 21 slots. Always take the ships that have more slots, as the next time you find the distress signal, the slots formula will apply to your current ship. I've noticed that it works works better if you find a ship with more slots, acquire it, and go to another planet or moon to look for the next ship. Now, fixing ships is actually pretty cheap as the materials you need can be found on any planet you get stranded in. When you find a crashed ship, you'll see that a lot of the tech is already installed and is damaged and in need of repair. Don't bother repairing anything that isn't the base pulse drive, shield, and launcher. The hyperdrive can be repaired if you're done exploring the current system and want to warp to a new one. The rest of the tech is useless to you as the investment you make in repairing tech or crafting tech is bad long term. Now let me explain why. The max amount of capacity a ship can have is 48. If you were to outright buy a 48 slot ship from an NPC, it would cost you hundreds of millions. Even if you have the units to spend on the ship, it's nowhere near a good investment unless you absolutely hate grinding, at which point I'm wondering why you even have that much money and why you're even playing the game. Now the slow and steady way of upgrading your ship from crash ships is much cheaper and more efficient. I like to explore almost every planet in a given system searching for planets that are either paradise inspired or contain extremely rare elements and items. While doing so, I usually make a note of finding at least one distress signal on my way to find a multi-port trade station. Once I achieve those two things, if there are no rare elements or items, I move on to the next planet and so on. Another upside of salvaging crash ships is those damaged technologies I was talking about. Even if you find a worse ship than your current one, you can still acquire it, dismantle all the tech, and transfer the good elements like Omegon to your inventory before acquiring your old ship back. Now, final tip for you guys is if you want to know the types of crashed ships you can find, the models, for example, on a certain planet, you can hang out near the multi-port trade stations or the orbiting space station and check out the ships that arrive. Those models have a chance to be the models you find on a crash ship and that's pretty much all i got for you guys regarding ships and how to acquire them let me know if this was helpful to you and if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments and i'll try and answer them thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one